Good morning, I'm Jit Selbwinte with Two Works For You. Here are today's top stories. Police have released the names of the people involved in a deadly hit and run in Tulsa. Officials say the driver, Jason Rudloff, was traveling westbound on I-44 near 33rd West Avenue when he hit and killed the victim, 61-year-old Perry Killian. This happened around 3.30 yesterday afternoon at exit 223B. Officials say Killian was pronounced dead at the scene. The cause of the crash remains under investigation. An Oklahoma senator who once tried to outlaw abortion is now looking to unseat a fellow Republican. Senator Joseph Silk says he wants to beat Representative Mark Wayne Mullen in the 2020 primary. Mullen has served four terms in the U.S. House, but Silk says he chose to run against him because he is frustrated with what he described as very liberal leadership in the Oklahoma legislature. Well, the celebration of Native American culture continues this weekend, organized by the Muskogee Oklahoma American Association. Starting at 10 this morning, they'll offer coffee and donuts at the Muskogee Indian Community Center in Muskogee. Then they'll have an intertribal hymn singing and services by Native American pastors, followed by lunch and dinner. Then tomorrow, they'll have a small ceremony with keynote speakers at Honor Heights Park Field starting at 1230. Now let's get a check of today's forecast with meteorologist Kerrigan Chauvin. Hey Kerrigan, how's it looking today? Well, we are going to see another beautiful fall-like afternoon. Temperatures rising into those lower 70s as we go into the 2 o'clock hour, so a great day to go out for Sunday brunch. We're going to still stay in those 60s until then, though, so by noon, it's going to be a little chilly outside with a temperature of 63, a high of 72, a low of 49 for tonight. Tomorrow, going to be much warmer with a high of 77, a cold front passing through on your Tuesday, dropping those highs back into the 60s. 60s as we head into your Wednesday and then we rebound back into the 70s by the end of this week. Jitzel. All right, thank you, Kerrigan. That was our digital update. Keep checking for more updates throughout the day.